transverse, longitudinal, how do these types of wave differ from one another? Hello, Saipas! I am Amseni Moreno, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we will differentiate transverse waves from longitudinal waves. We will also describe the anatomy of waves through their amplitude, crest, frequency, drop, and wavelength. Furthermore, we will demonstrate that a wave carries energy and not matter. Finally, we will appreciate the importance of waves in our everyday lives. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another AH moment. Remember that a wave is a periodic disturbance that moves away from a source and carries energy with it. Waves that propagate through solid, liquid, and gas are mechanical waves classified as transverse and longitudinal waves. Waves in which the individual particles vibrate perpendicular to the direction in which it travels are called transverse waves just like in moving a slinky in a side-to-side -side direction. While longitudinal waves are waves in which the vibration of the medium is parallel to the direction, the wave travels and the displacement of the medium is in the same direction of the wave propagation, just like in moving a slinky in back and forth direction. Examples of transverse waves are surface ripples on water, seismic waves, or earthquake and electromagnetic waves. Examples of longitudinal waves are sound waves, clapping, vibrating drum heads, tsunami waves, and earthquake waves. Waves are composed of amplitude, crest, frequency, drop, and wavelength. The high point of a transverse wave is called the crest, and the low point is called the drop. For longitudinal waves, the compressions and refractions are analogous to the crests and traps of transverse waves. The distance between successive crests or traps is called the wavelength. The height of a wave is the amplitude. The number of crests or traps that pass a specific point during a unit of time is called the frequency. The velocity of a wave can be expressed as the wavelength multiplied by the frequency. Ah. Do waves carry energy? Have you seen a boat changing its position as water waves pass by? Let's find out through a demonstration using an improvised triple tank and paper boat. In a wave phenomenon, energy can move from one location to another, yet the particles of matter in the medium return to their fixed position. A wave transports its energy without transporting matter. Waves are seen to move through an ocean or lake, yet the water always returns to its rest position. Energy is transported through the medium, yet the water molecules are not transported. Proof of this is the fact that there is still water in the middle of the ocean. The water has not moved from the middle of the ocean to the shore. If we were to observe a boat at rest on the water, it would simply bob up and down in somewhat circular fashion as the disturbance moves through the water. The boat always returns to its original position. 
the boat is not transported to the shore because the water on which it rests is not transported to the shore. In a water wave, energy is transported without the transport of water. Ah! How important are waves to our daily lives? These waves have many uses which are vital to our daily lives. Visible light allows us to see. Microwaves and radio waves allow for long-range communication via mobile phones, television, and radio. Infrared waves are used in night vision cameras and in many remote controls. X-rays are used in medical imaging. And lasers are used for many precision tasks, such as cutting materials, reading, and writing optical discs such as CDs and DVDs, and performing delicate surgery. Sound waves are important for communication, ocean exploration, search for underground resources, and for hunting of food for some organisms. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we differentiated transverse waves from longitudinal waves. Waves in which the individual particles vibrate perpendicular to the direction in which it travels are called transverse waves, just like in moving a slinky in a side-to-side -side direction. While longitudinal waves are waves in which the vibration of the medium is parallel to the direction. The wave travels and the displacement of the medium is in the same direction of the wave propagation, just like in moving a slinky in back and forth direction. Examples of transverse waves are surface ripples on water, seismic waves or earthquake, and electromagnetic. Examples of longitudinal waves are sound waves, clapping, vibrating drumheads, tsunami waves, earthquake waves, and others. We also describe the anatomy of waves through their amplitude, crest, frequency, drop, and wavelength. In a transverse wave, amplitude is the height of the wave. Crest is the highest point, while drop is the lowest point of the wave. In longitudinal waves, the compressions and refractions are analogous to the crests and drops of transverse waves. Frequency is the number of waves passing a given point. Wavelength is the distance between adjacent crest or trap, and compressions or refractions. We demonstrated that a wave carries energy and not matter. In a wave phenomenon, energy can move from one location to another, yet the particles of matter in the medium return to their fixed position. This is evident as waves propagate in the ocean and sea resulting to the up and down motion of boats at rest without carrying them to the shore. Finally, we appreciated the importance of waves in our everyday lives. These waves have many uses which are vital to our daily lives. Visible light allows us to see. Microwaves and radio waves allow for long-range communication via mobile phones, television, and radio. Infrared waves are used in night vision cameras and in many remote controls. X-rays are used in medical imaging, and lasers are used for many precision tasks such as cutting materials, reading and writing optical discs such as CDs and DVDs, and performing delicate surgery. Sound waves are important for communication, ocean exploration, search for underground resources, and for hunting of food for some organisms. Ah! That's all for today, Cypals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah! Moment. Only here in Agam Alam Hub, Palajan Sci-Tech Portal. Bye!